Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this quick video I want to show you how to add a free Instagram feed or a free Instagram widget in your Elementor website just like this. And you can do a couple of amazing customizations for this widget in Elementor for free. Now let's dive straight in. To get started you are going to add a new plugin called HT Mega Addons. It is a free plugin and you can find it in the WordPress repository by a simple search of HT Mega. So it will show up right here. You simply have to install and activate. And here in the right hand side menu of WordPress, you'll see it right up here. And by clicking on it, it will show you all the available widgets you can use to create something in your Elementor website. Now, in this case, we are going to use the Instagram feed or the Instagram widget. And by looking up right down here, you'll see something to do with Instagram which is here so it is already enabled it's called instagram now once it is enabled now you'll simply just have to open up a new page with elementor and you get started now i have already my page here opened up in elementor and i have already created a widget here but i'm going to start from scratch so i'll simply add a new section and then i'll come over here to the widgets area and i'll search for instagram or I simply just come to the section for HT add-ons and I look up for the Instagram widget that I want to use. In this case, let me just do a simple search. Instagram, I drag it over here. And boom, I'll have this widget, which is the default widget or the different demo that comes with HT Mega add-ons. Now, the good thing is that I have a couple of other styles that I can use to display my Instagram widget. See how this looks like? It is different from the first one, which had the follow option right here in the bottom. And this one also has like the same. And even the fourth style showing up just like this. Now, we are going to use the style to and the other thing now what we have to do is to use to access our Instagram data and to do that we are going to add our Instagram user ID and to look up for the ID you simply click on this link down here and you'll come to this section and here you'll simply enter in your user ID for Instagram and you simply copy this user ID here come back to your page and then you paste that ID and now next we need to look up for our Instagram access token and when you click on this link it will take you to a page whereby you can generate your instagram access token by logging into your instagram you'll get to something like this and when you get this code here simply copy it come here to your instagram page or to your page or widget paste that code right there and boom automatically it will now show your instagram feed now you can even limit the amount of items that are going to show in this feed to 8 to 20 to 100 to 5 whatever number you want you can change the image size the thumbnail size or whatever and you can even choose either to decide and show the likes the comments or even a light box in case you don't want it and you just want to leave it just like this without the light box or you can even show the follow button or even not show the follow button right there in the bottom you can change your icon which is a zoom icon you can change it to something else to like a plus in case someone wants to see this image in a bigger window or a bigger preview you can even change your different icons like for the comments and the likes you can change them here by simply clicking over here and go to the icon library and or you can choose an icon that you want to display as you like or whatever button so you can simply make changes right there and that's all in case you're not comfortable with this style you can still switch it to another style and your instagram feed will show up right there you can even make changes to the style of that widget even the icons the like and comment icons the size for those icons change that here see how that looks really now ugly it's better when it's smaller something like that can change the border the styling and all that stuff that's a quick tutorial on how 
you can get started adding Instagram feed to your Elementor or WordPress website for free. In case you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment box below. And if you're new to the channel, please give it a subscribe or even a like if you like the video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Thank you.